Mr. Reddick and judges and classmates. My partner Sam and I will be arguing the negative side on why there is no need for change on the current status quo of transportation infrastructure. Our resolution is resolved that the United States federal government should substantially increase its transportation infrastructure investment in the United States. I would first like to define some terms of the resolution. According to Merriam-Webster Dictionary, the word substantially means to great or significant extent. Transportation, defined also by Merriam-Webster Dictionary, is a system or means of transporting people or goods. Infrastructure is defined as the basic physical and organizational structures and facilities needed for the operation of a society or enterprise. Lastly, investment is an act of devoting time, effort, or energy to a particular undertaking with the expectation of a worthwhile result. The United States debt is $16.4 trillion. This debt is rising every day. That is why our negative keystone philosophy is to save in order to earn. Sam will touch on this more, however, with our current economic issue, we are in no place to substantially increase our investments like the resolution is suggesting. The United States would save so that in the future we can earn the money we have instead of furthering our debt. The three main risks my partner and I would like to stress if the United States federal government were to substantially increase its transportation infrastructure investment are, is it necessary, the costs involved, and the timeliness. First off, the keyword here is substantial. Once again, substantial means to great or significant extent. This would require the current infrastructure budget to have a substantial increase from the President's 2013 budget request of $74 billion for the Department of Transportation. Why should we increase budget when there is already enough money currently invested in maintaining and improving all the roads, bridges, highways, etc.? As we all know, there are more things such as schooling, Medicare, and health care that could use the money rather than transportation infrastructure, which is already being taken care of. Along with the question of is it necessary, I would like to bring to your attention the definition of investment once again. Investment, defined by Merriam-Webster Dictionary, is an act of devoting time, effort, or energy to a particular undertaking with the expectation of a worthwhile result, or as Matt defined it, an investment in order to gain profitable results. We can all agree that the rebuilding of transportation infrastructure will take time, effort, and energy, but the expectation of this investment will have to be a worthwhile result, or as Matt said, be able to gain profitable returns. This cannot be guaranteed due to the fact that many people take other forms of transportation because the gas prices are too high. In order to pay back the money that, will, that it will take to build these transportations, people will need to use them. However, the prices to either ride on the high-speed rail or the tolls on the new highways will be too costly. It is not necessary to rebuild and remake when it is more logical just to improve and maintain. For those of you who don't know, Route 66 will have a major roadway. Some even know it as the Main Street of America, used from travel from Chicago to LA. Since it has been reconfigured and has been wiped out by the highway interstate system, the historic Route 66 is forgotten about and not being maintained. In addition, all the small businesses along that highway are also forgotten. Small businesses are a requirement. As I mentioned, funding can be scattered and thus less effective. We need to focus on maintaining existing structures and projects, which will lead to an overall more efficient transportation system. If we continue this vicious cycle of remaking and adding rather than maintaining and improving, the old but important highways will be forgotten as well as the businesses that strive from the traffic these highways bring. America's infrastructure needs intelligent reform, not floods of extra financing of quixotic dreams of high-speed rails to nowhere. This quote from Spending Won't Fix What Ails U.S. Infrastructure by Edward Glazier explains how the cost involved to substantially increase the transportation infrastructure outweighs the benefits it would provide. Not only do, do we need $1.1 trillion invested in the next five years to significantly improve the nation's infrastructure according to the American Society of Civil Engineers, but how can we be sure that these new projects will even be used? Then, therefore, generate the money this economy needs. Our country, other countries, such as China Rail Project, have, re have produced more allegations of corruption and safety problems and economic transformation also according to the article by Edward Glacier. Our transportation system systems need to be used in order to generate money. How can we be sure that these new transportation infrastructures will be used to bring in the money we need? Substantial investments in the transportation infrastructure only make sense when there is a clear problem that needs solving and when the benefits exceed the costs. According to Dow
downsizinggovernment.org, nine out of ten projects come in over budget, which would only further which would only further drain our funds. Lastly, the timeliness of these projects that the affirmative will suggest is just not reasonable. As I already mentioned, the historical Route 66 was first established in 1926, but was not completely paved until 1938, which is a total of 12 years. And this highway is not even being used today. Why should we waste more of our money on things that will just continue to be remade? Instead, we need to continue with the current status quo and improve it. We all know about the Project 309. This was not a big project, and it was not expected to take a long time. However, the construction of 309 took over five years. This was just a small project. Imagine how long it could take to build a high-speed rail or other transportation infrastructures. To conclude, my partner Sam and I believe the risks involved in substantially increasing the investment for transportation infrastructure outweigh the benefits. We need to save in order to earn, which means this is not a necessity, the cost is too high, and the timeliness is unreasonable. Thank you, and please vote negative.